right, coming up next is the UFC Heavyweight Showdown. Well, he was a three-time NCAA qualifier as a Cal State Fullerton wrestler. He is a former two-time UFC Bantamweight champion. He is Tyler Jeffrey Dillashaw, and he is ready to add to his legacy here tonight. And for all those wrestling accomplishments, he doesn't even need to use it. He's become a great striker under Dwayne Ludwig, a guy that can beat you with kicks, a guy that can beat you with the boxing, and the footwork is something that we haven't seen in the UFC for a very long time. TJ Dillashaw is one of the greatest Bantamweights of all time. And he is truly in his element on Fight Night. Absolutely loves the bright lights and everything that Fight Night entails. Another big spot for Dillashaw here tonight. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. And now, for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 18 wins, four losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, USA, presenting the former UFC bantamweight champion, TJ Dillashaw. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds, fighting out of New York, Iron. All right, commit the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. advantage there with that punch, DC. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, massive hit kick there. We'll see if he can finish. That was a jab. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Hook to the head there by Dillashaw. And they separate. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Another strike to the head lands. Well, it's one 
thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Dillashaw. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. So there it is, DC, the fighter with the longer reach, able to counter flush with a straight punch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, collar tie. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. So he lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon, and you felt like that was a big key for him coming into him. Very important for him to start popping that jab. He's doing it over and over again, and he's finding a ton of success. Big kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Goes upstairs for an elbow. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. And I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into position where he can get off the strikes. Nice punch by Dillashaw. Head kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Trying to establish that jab once again. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Checks the leg kick. Oh, he eats a knee. Dillashaw gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Big head kick land. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. So 44 total strikes and counting have landed for the great TJ Dillashaw. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clip. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jump. Nice clean schedule at it. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, nice punch there by Dillashaw. He's looking to land the right, just out of range. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Right hand punch to the clinch. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. And he landed the right hand there. Changes levels now, DC. Oh, man, he was in a single got to a high crotch. Oh. He flips him over the top. What a huge takedown. I mean, do I survive that, or did no, I read my last round? Absolutely not. You don't survive that. It's over. It's over, John. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you got to start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Let's keep those hands all right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was attacking the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to it. There was no negative to him headhunting. Most times the coaches yell, don't headhunt, don't headhunt. I'm yelling headhunt in front of his corner. Because every time he's thrown, he's landing. 
Oh, needed the head. Ooh, wee. Ooh, wee, what a right hand by this young man. Dillashaw gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. And they separate. Dillashaw's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Right single collar tie now. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. That kick blocked by Dillashaw. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Gets the elbow up into the target. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Nice loop and punch. Oh, and he lands another punch there. You can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finish. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Nice punch, Lance. Big left hook coming. And both guys really throwing with a sword. An elbow! And now he lands a combination! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, beautiful job with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Now inside the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Look at how he drives the knee right into his opponent's midsection. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Went for the inside leg kick. He's, he's limping now. And they separate. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned it. He's hurt. Oh, huge right hand. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad now. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Beautiful knee. Battles for hooks. Back and forth we go! Right hand punch to the clinch. What a punch. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie.
right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. All right, next round is now underway. DC, right, any right. major takeaways right. after the previous five minutes? Yes. That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Nice straight punch. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. What a body kick. Oh! Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Well, you better start doing something defensively. A lot of these knees are landing to the puck. I mean, and it's going to drain you. You cannot stand there while someone has a clinch and is just driving knees into your body. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. No! News oh! hurts. Serve him up. Go get him. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Dillashaw gets hit with a kick here. Let's see oh, how he responds. Oh, wow! What a sweep! Well, he's up. Just misses with the left hook. Now goes in and secures the takedown. He passes to half guard. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Dillashaw's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here, nice punch. He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Dillashaw's got him in a crucifix. Gonna work from the top now. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. Yeah, brutal elbow to stop his opponent right there in his tracks, and it really takes strong technique to deliver a shot like that to maximize force over a short distance. But man, when guys do it right with those elbows, it is absolutely devastating. Right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart 
One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official the decision. Going to stop for this contest at three minutes, 52 seconds of the third round. Playing the winner by so the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by now. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that will listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.